I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret in Hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code, code, path lays among the vast spaces of the unthinkable and the immense, with so much undiscovered swirling around us that it cannot be embraced by either mind or anything simpler. But this unseen beauty does not dismay the heart as it did before, because it abides not in rapture and in splendor, but rather in minute and ordinary details. Wally, for example, spent the day picking his ears an endeavor in which he had unquestionably acquitted himself admirably, nor did he attempt anything any more useful or necessary. Chico studied the noble science of medicine, as he had doubtlessly once again prematurely diagnosed himself scabies or the bubonic plague or indeed worse. Not once today had there been any of Crash's pranks or jokes. The blessing was unconscious. Hmm. And what caused this sad incident? How should I know? <laughs> As if this is only the first time. All signs are normal. He'll be up and about before long, better than ever. That won't do. We have here rabbits lying around unconscious, and we have no idea why. <laughs> Oh, are things that bad? What's happened with him? <gasps> Is he worse? Let's not panic. It's not worse for Crash. It's worse for history. Is there anyone among you who knows what happened to our restless little friend? For if we leave such a monstrous void in this chronicle, posterity will never forgive us for this. Oh, here! We've got an eyewitness! <laughs> he was the first person to find him in this condition. Ah, I'm listening. I dozed off at the helm, and when I woke up, he is already unconscious! Oh, give it a rest, would you? How come your diary is now all of a sudden an historical document? It is the recording of everyday details, my friend, that the science of history develops. History is the science of the past of mankind in all its diversity. It studies how different peoples, their religion and culture lived, when and under what conditions there were fierce battles. How and why people's lives have changed and become the same as now. And the cradle where history was born is considered to be ancient Greece. And history's founding father is the famous ancient Greek historian and philosopher Herodotus. His works collected a lot of valuable information on the history and culture of the peoples of the ancient world. And even in our time, we can find a huge amount of new details in his records through which we are able to solve some of the most difficult riddles from history. There are many ways to study history. One of them is excavation. You can, for example, dig a tomb, study bones and artifacts, and that way, find out how long objects have been in the ground. This work is carried out by archeologists, and the information they obtain is simply a treasure to historians. You can also go to the country that you wish to write about, and speak to the local people about their own past. 
But here you are likely to encounter the Chinese whispers phenomena. In the past, it was not uncommon for one generation to verbally pass traditions on to the next generation without including some embellishment of their own. But with the invention of writing, everything became much easier. In the documents of ancient times, the authors had already collected materials and chronicled them into history, and it is there to be used. Written material is often the most important source of information about the past. And even the slightest scratch on a wall can tell so much to a historian. You see, even a scratch. And here we have a whole diary. I think I know what happened today. Today, I witnessed an historical event that I believe could lead us on the trail. You used to be mirrors. Yeah, I can be ever so clumsy. I thought so too. But if we look at the calendar. We can immediately see that whatever happened, happened with the participation of some big-eared joker. More than likely, he was once again the author of another series of pranks of which Olga was the victim. Clearly, everything, and planned in advance. Oh. <laughs> You used to be mirrors. <laughs> and well, I never. And I just thought I slipped. But what happened to Crash himself? It's obvious. He came a cropper from one of his own pranks. <laughs> Well, well, this is a compelling argument. Let's record it. I don't think silly pranksters deserve to go down in history. Alas, but even true history will include some incorrectness. Therefore, any Herodotus can count on the memory of his descendants. But wait, it, today isn't April 1st. In fact, it's the 7th. It's the International Day of the Owl. Oh! So Crash probably was preparing a gift for Olga. On this day, he probably wanted to do something nice for her, something special. You used to bring me daffodils. La 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 but from the beginning, nothing went as planned. And Crash fainted from disappointment. <laughs> this all so moving. So we have two accounts about one and the same event. Well, in history, that wouldn't be the first time. As soon as an eyewitness starts to tell a story, he puts across a certain point of view. But it may not correspond with someone who sees the same thing, but from another point of view. Take, for example, the notorious emperor of Russia, Peter the Great. On the one hand, he was one of the pioneers for advancing Russian naval culture. He was able to expand the borders of the Russian Empire while establishing economic relations with European countries. And in 1703, Peter the Great founded the beautiful city of St. Petersburg and made many reforms that were progressive and useful. But let's take a look at the reign of Peter the Great from the other side. He shaved off the beards of all the noblemen and forced them to wear a European dress, interrupting the centuries-old national tradition. Peter I introduced secret searches to Russia and persecution of any dissenting voices, and any person could be forced to serve in the army forever, completely against their will. So, who was Peter I? Was he a tyrant or an innovator? 
That depends on who was documenting this historical period. So tell me what really happened. Uh, I... Holy carrots, looks like I dozed off a little bit. Uh. <laughs> now I'm no historian, <laughs> but shouldn't we wait to ask Crash? Crash, you woke up. What do you mean, woke up? Uh, what happened? Well, that is what we wanted to ask you. Holy carrots! Uh, well, I don't... I don't remember anything. Wow. Uh, oh, no, Crash. Oh, no. I was expecting oh, more twists oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. Well, my friends, I guess some things just end up remaining a mystery to history. gonna go on a diet anyway. Attention. Warning. Meteor warning. Attention. Meteor warning. Holy carrots! Then wake up! There's a warning! Yeah, yo, the big man daffodil! Deactivating meteor warning. Collision averted. Who's got the illa skills, huh? This will definitely go down in history. 